Hi, this is Matt Hill. I'm here to show you how to take a Nikon 24-70 f 2.8 S lens and reverse it to use uh, for macro on a Nikon Z body. Uh, I have with me my auto bellows, which is a Nikon Z auto bellows kit uh, from Novaflex. I'm just going to take the, so it's less confusing, take the focusing rail off the bottom and you'll note that there's, I have a quick release plate on there. So I just wanted to break it down and show people how simple this can be to do it. If you own an auto bellows from Novaflex, it's comprised of multiple parts. There is the bellows itself. There are two adapter rings and there's the retro adapter here. And that's the piece that has the cord. And this, some people stumble on that. So I just wanted to show people how to disassemble it first. So there's a couple of ways you can approach this. One is that you tighten these down and you turn this a little bit until it releases. That's one way. The other way is to loosen the set screws on both sides and then unscrew this. You'll see that this is one of the adapters right there and it came out of the back of this. So I'm going to put that adapter over here. That came from the front. And on the back side of this, there is another spacer slash adapter here. So this part unscrews. So if you take this off, that's the other adapter. And what's left behind, oops, what's left behind is the retro adapter. So on one end, you have the part that goes into the body. And on the other end, you have the part that receives the lens. So what do we do with this? Well, first, let's set aside the things we don't need now that we've obtained that. So we're going to take the bellows, which doesn't have any adapters on it. I'm just going to put the adapters back in so you can see, be reminded that that's where one adapter goes. And that's where the other adapter goes. Ta-da! Right? So now I'm just going to set this to the side. And now we have a camera body and we have the retro adapter, right? So this retro adapter, one end obviously goes where the lens flange is, right? So we're just going to put that on right now, right? So this is now going to be the front since we're reversing the lens. So we're going to take the lens cap off. We're going to take the lens hood off, right? So now we have a problem, but it's not a problem really. The end of this is threaded for 58 millimeters. The end of this, if you look on the inside of the cap, is threaded for 82 millimeters. So what do we do? We need to have a step ring that goes from that to that. I have them right here that starts at 82 millimeters and steps down to 58. And there's one, two, three, four, five of these. You can also get dedicated step rings that go from 82 to 58. But that's what you want. The front of your filter thread of your lens, in this case 82 millimeters, to go down to 58. So this will be a male thread that goes into the lens. And down here you have a female thread, which is the other end of the adapter. So it's best to put this on, since there's so many threads, it's best to put this on the adapter right and now you can sort of take it off the other end here since you have so many threads we're going to thread that in right and now we can come around the other side here and find the alignment points which is the red dot to the white dot so we're just going to take that and twist it so now we have uh, a lens that looks like this where it says Nick Z, Nick Z Retro on the front. And there's another 58 millimeter thread there if you want to put a protective filter on there. And then this part goes into the body, like such. So now you have fully assembled the 24 to 70 S lens with the zoom to be able to be used on a Nikon Z series camera.